For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, wanted to describe briefly the manuscript, the template that, uh, that you can use. The first page, or the title page here, you can basically use as is. The only thing you'll need to change here is the title here, and uh, you'll, I would include, uh, or capitalize the main words. I would create a title from six to 12 words approximately, center it to the page, and then here along the top, along the running head, I would select the first five words or so of the title and put that all in uppercase. Now from the second page, you'll also do the same. Notice that now you do not have the running head, but you will have the title, so I would keep it uh, the way it is. And just make sure that you uh, include the, the first five words also in the second page. Now in the abstract is where you'll include 150 to 250 words, one paragraph, no indentation, and you'll include keywords along the bottom. The table of contents, I'll create a separate video for that. We'll, uh, we'll use the uh, styles for uh, generating automatically our table of contents, but I'll, I'll create another video later to describe that, as well as the tables and figures. Now here, this is where you're going to begin your literature review. Here you'll include the title, again, 6 to 12 words, the exact same title that you included in the title page. Main words are capitalized, center to the page in bold. This is a level 1 heading. Then you'll include the, your introduction. Notice I am not including any heading called introduction. We'll just include one paragraph, approximately 250 words that will be your introduction followed by the first section, or the first level two heading, which appears here. So the idea of this template is to just go in and use uh, these, the same style. So go in and just change this uh, text so that you, uh, you have headings that are under a level two style, which appear here. Again, this is going to be important later on when we do our, uh, when we do our table of contents. So here, our level 2 heading will need to be flush left, and main words are capitalized and in bold. So you'll continue doing that. You're probably going to have anywhere from two to four uh, level 2 headings or main sections of your literature review, given the, the, uh, the word count. And in some cases, if you just have two main sections, you may need a level 3 heading. Level 3 heading is part of the paragraph, only the first word is indented, it's in bold, and it ends in a period. So you would have the heading here with the indentation, then a space, and then you would add your topic sentence right after that, and continue on developing your body paragraph according to the meal plan. So again, uh, this uh, template, try to use this template, use the, the uh, the format here that I have provided, I think it uh, will be easier later on when, again, when you develop the topic uh, or the table of conscience. The method section, when you begin the method section, you're uh, likely to have these three sections, participants, instruments, and procedure. So all you'll need to do here will be to fill out the appropriate information under each of these three sections. The results and discussion section, uh, you can leave this as is. Here, as you did in the uh, literature review, you will also create headings, anywhere from level 2 headings or level 3 headings, depending on how many sections you're dealing with. But again, try to use these same, same formats and just change the text accordingly. References, I've provided a few examples here. Of course, you'll go in and add your own references, but use these as a guide uh, so that you're following APA and, and your formatting. Appendix, you'll, you'll have uh, some appendix and here are a few. Again, you will not have to change these headings. If you need more than the two that are provided here, you'll add another one, but make sure that you're using this level one style, the one that's called level one APA. This is one I created specifically for this, for, uh, for this template. So if you have any additional appendix, you'll uh, use this style. 
and later I'll, we'll talk more uh, about creating uh, titles or headings for each of your appendix and we'll do that as a level two so basically you would select level two format and then add the text or the heading of your uh, of each appendix so I hope this helps uh, if you do have questions about the format or, or problems uh, let me know and I'll try to clarify but again try to use the template as much as possible um, in order to facilitate the the overall look and, and again the format of the of the document